Hello viewers, I am Kausalya. Today we are going to solve the another block diagram problem. And the problem is obtain the closed loop transfer function C of S by R of S of the system whose block diagram is shown in figure. So this is our given problem. So to start with, let me tell. In order to solve any block diagram problems, you should be familiar with the block diagram reduction rules. Here I am going to give the link in the description. You can just see that then you can come over here and solve this problem. So this is our given problem and this problem consists of 3 summing points S1, S2, S3 and 3 branch points 1, 2 and 3. Right. So here they are asked to find the transfer function that is C of S divided by R of S. So the first step is here we are splitting the summing point S2 because here S2 has 3 inputs. You see plus, minus, minus. So I am going to split this summing point as well as this branch point too. Because here this branch point gets connected with this S2 also as well as with the S1 also. So when we split this summing point and branch point then it will be easy for us to solve. Okay. So, this is, this is our first step. So, here this summing point is splitted into two. So, here see one is with plus and minus that is one connects these two. And another summing point has this plus and this minus. Okay, hope you are clear. This H2 is connected with this summing point and this H1 is connected with this summing point. Right. Then, now look at the branch point two. This branch point 2 has a feedback element H1 and this H1 is connected here. And again the same H1 gets connected with this summing point S1 also. Look, I hope you are clear with this. That is this H1 goes to S2 as well as the same H1 goes to S1. So I am splitting this branch point 2 into again 2 branches. Here you see this is one branch and this is our another branch. So, one branch has H1 and this is with a negative feedback. So, here see H1 with negative feedback. And again the same H1 moves to this S1 with a positive feedback. So, here again the same H1 moves with S1 with a positive feedback. Right. This is the most important step. Hope you are clear with this. Right. Then our second step is eliminating the feedback loop. So here it is clear right this is your feed forward element and this is your feedback and again the type of feedback is negative. So I am going to eliminate this feedback loop. So and I eliminate this loop the basic formula is here we will be having G and here we will be having H and the basic formula is G by 1 plus GH right this is the rule. So here in the place of G I am having G2. So G2 divided by 1 plus again in the place of G, right G2 and here the feedback becomes H1. So G2 divided by 1 plus G2 H1. So when you write here G2 divided by 1 plus G2 H1, right. So now we have eliminated this feedback loop and this is the final answer. And here comes our second step. The second step is over. Then we move to the third step. So what is the third step is. I am going to move the branch point. That is this branch point. After this block G3. Right. So moving the branch point. After the block G3. So the branch point here. Gets moved over to. After this block G3. So when you move a branch point after a block, the rule is you have to include the reciprocal of the element. That is here I am moving after the block G3, right? So here I have to include this line moves over here. So to this line, I have to include reciprocal of this G3. So here I have to write H1. The remaining things are same. So here I have to include 1 by G3 because this branch point is moved after this block G3. Right. So this is our step number 3. Hope you all are clear with this. Then our next step is. Combining blocks in cascade. 
So combining blocks and cascade as we are moving this branch point here these two blocks are in cascade. So that is these two blocks are in series combination. So how to reduce blocks in series? The thing is just you have to multiply these two elements. So when you multiply you will be having G2 G3 divided by 1 plus G2 H1 right. So just write the values here. So you will be having G2 G3 divided by 1 plus G2 H1 right. And again the feedback element here it is nothing but you are having H1 and 1 by G3 in series. So just multiply these two. So you will be having H1 by G3 and the remaining things remain as such right. And now we are going to see our step number 5. Again here there is a feedback loop and I am going to eliminate this feedback loop. So here what is this feedback loop? So this part is your feedback loop. So this is your feed forward element and this H2 is the feedback. And again the type of feedback is negative. So here I have drawn this one separately. So in the place of G I am having this one and in the place of H I am having this H2. So the basic procedure is again write the basic formula that is G divided by 1 plus G H is the formula. So in the place of G I am having G2 G3 divided by 1 plus G2 H1 right. Whole divided by 1 plus again G. So in the place of G I am having this one. So G2 G3 divided by 1 plus G2 H1 and multiplied by in the place of H I am having H2. So here this is your H2 right. So when you take LCM you will be having G2 G3 divided by 1 plus G2 H1 the whole divided by when you take LCM you have to multiply this expression with this one here. So you will be having 1 plus G2 H1 plus multiply these three terms. So you will be having G2 G3 and H2 the whole divided by again 1 plus G2 H1 right. Now these two denominator terms are same and they will get cancelled and our output will be we will be having G2 G3 the whole divided by 1 plus G2 H1 plus G2 G3 H2 right. So this is our step number 5 and the next one is combining blocks in cascade. So here listen, these two blocks are in cascade, right? So how to combine blocks in cascade? Just we have to multiply these two elements. So when you multiply, you will be having, how to multiply? So just multiply these things. We will be having G1, G2, G3. So here I have drawn separately that two. So okay, we have to combine these two blocks. So just multiply. When you multiply, you will be having G1, G2, G3 divided by 1 plus G2 H1 plus G2 G3 H2 right. So now write this expression here. So G1 G2 G3 divided by 1 plus G2 H1 plus G2 G3 H2 right. So that's all. The second one is again eliminating the feedback loop. So the, here the feedback loop is again this is your feed forward element and this is your feedback and the type of feedback is positive feedback. So here this is our feedback loop and we have to reduce here. So here in the place of G I am having this one and in the place of H I am having this one. So type of feedback is positive. So the formula, <coughs> formula will be G divided by 1 minus G H right. So in the place of G I am having G1, G2, G3 divided by 1 plus G2, H1 plus G1, sorry, plus G2, G3, H2, right. This is our G. G divided by, again, 1 minus G. So, you have to write G1, G2, G3 divided by 1 plus G2, H1 plus G2, G3, H2 multiplied by H. So in the place of H, I am having H1 by G3. So just substitute here H1 by G3, right. Now this G3 and this G3 will get cancelled. And when you take LCM, you will be having our final expression. So here, we will be having G1, G2, G3 divided by 
1 plus G2 H1 plus G2 G3 H2. Right. And the whole term divided by when you take LCM you will be having 1 plus G2 H1 plus G2 G3 H2 minus of when you multiply these three terms you will be having G1 G2 H1. So minus G1 G2 H1 the whole term divided by again 1 plus G2 H1 plus G2 G3 H2 right. So here now again both the denominator terms are same. So this denominator term will get cancelled and finally we will be having G1 G2 G3 the whole divided by 1 plus G2 H1 plus G2 G3 H2 minus G1 G2 H1 right this is our final expression after reducing this loop. So just write the values here so G1 G2 G3 the whole divided by 1 plus G2 H1 plus G2 G3 H2 minus G1 G2 H1 right so in these two blocks are reduced like this block and again here I am having G4 and this G4 listen carefully this is a feed forward element okay you see the arrow mark here it goes from here to here not from here to here so this is our feed forward element so you just write this G4 as such right now our next step is we have to combine these two blocks now listen carefully these two blocks are in parallel connection because both the block starts here right this block starts here and ends with the summer here again this block also starts here and again this ends with the same summer so these two blocks are said to be in parallel so how to combine blocks in parallel we will see so here i have to combine these two blocks and these two blocks are in parallel so here parallel connection is nothing but you have to add the elements in these two blocks. So when you add you will be having G1, G2, G3 divided by 1 plus G2, H1 plus G2, G3, H2 the whole divided by minus G1, G2, H1 plus I have to add this element. So this becomes plus G4 right that's all. So just write down this expression here. So you will be having G1, G2, G3 the whole divided by 1 plus G2, H1 plus G2, G3, H2 sorry, minus G1, G2, H1 and this gets multiplied sorry added with this G4. So this is our final output this is our required transfer function so we can write it over here so c of s by r of s is nothing but g1 g2 g3 divided by 1 plus g2 h1 plus g2 g3 h2 minus g1 g2 h1 plus g4 so this is our required transfer function that's all our problem gets over here thank you